Hi everyone, and welcome to your All Levels Flow today. I'm excited to practice with you, and for those of you that are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a little sweaty because I just got done with the workout, so it's a great time to practice yoga so we can get a good stretch in. Grab your yoga mat and let's get started. I invite all of us to start in child's pose. How does that sound? Let's bring it on down to our knees, and then we'll separate our knees apart so that our hips slowly come back to our heels, and then extend your arms long. And that's gonna allow you to bring your forehead down so that you can start to stretch out your lower back. And we encourage your knees here to be apart so that you can allow your hips to open up a little bit as we sink our tailbone back towards our heels. Some people go to child's pose, knees together. It's not wrong but this is a way to kind of take the practice and make it a little bit more stretchy. So take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, fully inhaling and fully exhaling. And if you're feeling a little tight in your neck today, you can always turn one ear down, stretching out the side of your neck. You can take a couple breaths here. And then I invite you and encourage you to pick up your head and turn your head the opposite way. Taking a stretch on that side. Good. On your next inhale, come back to neutral if your head is not yet down. And then we'll slowly and carefully start to send your eyes forward, kind of elongate your spine, gaze forward. And notice how that starts to kind of pull into your back a little bit. And then I want you to lift your elbows, lift your forearms with me so your fingertips are on the ground. So now you're going to get an even deeper stretch here. And then exhale, lay all of that flat as your head goes down. Good. Now look forward. We're going to slither all the way on to our stomach. Keep your hands active right alongside your nipple line. Pull your elbow bones closer together. And then inhale, start to extend through the arms. If you can, sometimes going straight arms is a little difficult, so feel free just to push up, maybe even bent elbows. Good, exhale to go flat, tuck the chin at the bottom, tap your forehead, inhale here, squeeze together in the elbows. Exhale, let your breath go. Good, let's inhale, start to bring your chest up, your gaze moves forward, your gaze moves up the wall in front of you or whatever is in front of you, I have a wall. You might have a beautiful outdoors. Good, exhale, slowly lower down, 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 down. Exhale at the bottom, tuck the chin. You should be able to breathe here because your head is down, but you still have plenty of space to breathe through your nose and your mouth. Squeeze your elbows in. We're going to perform this movement one more time. Inhale, start to come up, 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 up. Good. Lift your heart with me. Shine it forward. Exhale. We'll come all the way back to child's pose that round. And notice if your back is okay with back bends. How did that feel coming into the practice? Good. Tabletop, hands and knees. Take a flip of the right wrist and, if you can, the left. Maybe you do one for a few breaths, then you do the other based on what feels good. And then we're going to take a cow pose, so stick out your bum, lift your heart. We're going to take a cat pose. We're going to tuck the chin and round the back. Good, inhale, cow. Good, exhale, cat. Nice. From this position, you're going to go flat back, turn your hands forward, one and then the other. Good, very gently from here, I want you to extend back through your right foot, press the ball of the foot into the earth, so notice how my leg is fully extended, and then lift it up. Good. Now you're going to extend through your left fingertips. They're on the earth though, so you don't have to lift the hand up. But if you want to, lift your left hand up for three. Lift up through the belly. You're using your core. Two. Exhale, hand and knee down. 
Good, second side, left leg is gonna push back. Use the ball of your foot. Exhale, right fingertips are gonna come forward, hold. Good, engage through your legs, lift your back heel, hold. Stay here or lift your right arm, hold, three. Good, spinal balance known as bird dog, two. Exhale, hand down, knee down. Sit back on your heels for me. Take your arms to the sky. And if this is too hard, you can always stay up on your kneecaps too, just because I know sometimes our knees and hips, this can be really difficult. Exhale, big circle. Interlace your fingers, and then you're gonna inhale, back bend. I want you to open up your chest for me. So really broaden and lift the heart. Good, exhale, move forward, rabbit pose. So top of the head. Booty lifts, shoulders lift, fingertips lift, and create space. Three. Good. Stay in it for two. Put your hands down slowly onto the earth for me. Very gracefully bring your spine up, 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 up. And exhale. Good. Let's head to our first downward facing dog of practice. Tuck your toes, raise your bum. Exhale, once we get here, maybe you're a little tight, so this is challenging and you just kind of focus on breathing. Maybe you enjoy movement, so start to pedal the feet with me, start to feel the left side and the right side of your body kicking in. And then exhale, give a nice push back with both hands, hips in the air, relax your elbows, good, three. Stay strong, push back, extend through the hips, two. Good, and then on your next exhale, you're gonna take your time and we're gonna gently walk our feet all the way up to our hands so that we're in a nice forward fold. Place your hands on your shins for a half lift of the spine. Good, fold forward to exhale, drop your gaze down. Repeat your half lift. So inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift with me. And if you're not sure what to do here, you want your back to be flat, okay? And you want your glutes to stick out behind you. And some of us have to bend our knees more here, depending on the tightness in our hamstrings. Exhale, forward fold. This time, reach your right hand behind the right leg, left hand behind your left leg, and then work on lowering the head lifting the tailbone, and then just feeling the release of your head, neck, and shoulders closer and closer to the earth for three. Good. Lifting up through your glutes, dropping your head for two. And then let's release our hands down on one. This will allow us to slowly stand up. So take your time with me. Rising all the way to the top. Good. Take your arms up into the air. Lengthen your spine. And then exhale, release your hands back down by your sides. Right hand slides down, right leg. Raise your left arm up. Lean your hips to the left. Keep reaching your left arm to the sky. Good. Inhale, center. Left hand's going to slide down the left leg. The right arm is going to come up to the sky, and you're going to push and lean here. And then inhale, we're gonna bring both arms up to the sky, big stretch. Exhale, forward fold, all the way back down to the mat. Take your time. Good, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We'll step to our first plank pose, top of a push-up, one foot and then the other. Strong in both arms, look forward on your inhale, lift up through your low belly, nice and strong. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward facing dog. And if the push-up variation is too hard for you, you're more than welcome to lower the knees or skip it at any point. Right leg rises. Let's lift our leg up into the air. Step all the way through, right foot between your hands. Good, from this position, inhale, rise up. Here's your high lunge. Let your right knee bend forward as your arms extend tall. Settle in. Good, on your next exhale, we're gonna hinge forward. You're gonna reach both arms to the back of the room as you hover your heart 
right over your right leg. So feel this lean forward, feel this hover action. Good, inhale, sweep both arms back up to the sky. Exhale, let's repeat our hover, lean forward, and then extend your arms back. Stay really strong in your legs for me. Good, inhale, your arms come up one more time. And then exhale, you're gonna frame your right foot. Beautiful. From there, you're gonna take your time and you're gonna sweep your right arm all the way up into the air. Twist. Now, if you're feeling fatigue and this is really hard, you can always put your back knee down. Otherwise, try to keep bending your right knee forward as you stack your shoulders one over the other. You can look down if you need to for balance. Good, right hand lowers to the mat. And then left knee is gonna drop to the mat. Good, keep your fingertips right alongside your right foot and then reach your heart forward. Now some of you may struggle doing this because you don't have yoga blocks and maybe you're really tight. Blocks can help you extend more forward. You can always kinda just do the best you can too based on your ability and flexibility and your anatomy. And then on your next breath, we're gonna straighten our right leg. So I'm gonna ask you to pick up your back knee first. So watch if you need to. We're gonna lift and bring it back. And then this right leg is gonna gently straighten. Good, so now my right toes are facing the sky. You can point and flex your right foot as we work a little bit into the hamstring. Maybe you walk your hands over to the right so you offer a slight twist. Good. And then we'll gently bring ourselves back to neutral, so folding forward over the right leg. Rebend your right knee. Good. Pick up your left knee and we'll step into plank, round two. So again, this is your option for knee down chaturanga. Keep your knees up if you want to. Flip the feet. Inhale. And then your exhale brings you back to down dog. And if you need to take two breaths in a pose, you're more than welcome to inhale and exhale and then move on your breath to the next pose. Left leg, let's lift it up together. Left foot, let's step forward together. Good, high lunge, ready? Come all the way up. So your legs might be feeling a little tired and a lunge is definitely hard. It's not an easy pose. Good, we're gonna shift the chest forward. We're gonna play around with that hover. So extend your arms backwards, three. My arms, by the way, are active. My muscles are working, two. Good, inhale, come back up, lunge. And then exhale, hinge forward. Reach back, three. Stay here for two. Inhale, you got this. Come all the way up. Stay strong in your legs. I know you might be feeling tired. Exhale your hands down to your mat. Beautiful. Now let's keep our right palm right where it is. And then let's peel our left arm up to the sky. Now I offered you this option before, so if you need to lower your back knee, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, stay active and strong right here, three. Good, open up through your chest, two. Stay strong, one more big inhale, reach your arm up, exhale, release. Put your right knee down. Good, top of your back foot down. Now use your fingertips, start to lift your chest sink forward. Same thing we did before. So we're slowly working on our lunge. We're keeping this an active pose by pushing down into our hands and pulling our chest through. Good. Now lift your back knee with me. One, two, three, pop it back. Nice work. Let's straighten our left leg together. Exhale. You can play around if you wish. Point and flex. 
And you may or may not, by the way, be able to get your foot flat. So if you're struggling with that, it's normal. Good. And then we're going to fold over the leg, either stay in center or make your pivot to the left with me if you did that the first time. Good. Working the rotation here for three. Breathing in and out for two. Good. Come back to neutral slowly. Nice. Rebend your knee. Pick up your back knee. This time we're going to step forward. One, two, three. Feet together. Good. Take your flat back again. We worked on this in the beginning. So again, lengthen heart forward. Good. Exhale. Let's fold forward. We'll take two breaths here. So just let your head hang. A lot of us look down at our feet. That's going to engage your neck. See if you can look back between your shins instead. Really let your head hang. Good. With your knees slightly bent, rise all the way up to stand. Lean back. Let your heart open. Good. Big circle of your arms. This time we're going to interlace our fingers behind our glutes. So I'm going to turn and rotate. So you really want to try to get those knuckles clasp. Same thing we did on our kneecaps, by the way. Bring your knuckles down your tail. Let's take our back bend. I love this shoulder opener. Bending at the knees. Come all the way up and over your head. Exhale as you fold in here. Let your head hang for three. Good. Lift with your knuckles for two. And then on one, you'll release your hands to your low back and then your hands to your yoga mat. Good job. Inhale, flat back, find length. Exhale as you fold, left foot is going to step back. Drop your left knee. This time, inhale both arms to the sky. Pull your hands to heart center. Twist right. So hook your elbow, work your twist. Good. Pull your low belly in and you're welcome to look down. Maybe you prefer that for balance. Maybe you want to look to your right towards your fingertips. Maybe you can look back. So I'm trying to turn myself so I can gaze behind my yoga mat, turning my head with my heart. One more breath here. Nice job. Inhale, come back through your lunge. Good. Repeat half splits. Hands down. Now do me a favor again. Tuck the toes. Pop your left knee back just an inch which is going to give you more room to fold and straighten your right leg, okay? And again, let's play the bend and straighten game. Three, or excuse me, point and flex. <laughs> Two, one. Toes stay elevated here. Again, continue to fold forward or walk your hands to the right. This is going to intensify the stretch a little bit more in the hamstring and the IT band. And then you're going to make your way back to center. Good. Exhale, fold. Now slide your right heel back a little bit. So drag it backwards. Rebend your right knee. Good. This time we're going to go to three-legged down dog. So pick up your left knee. Right leg is going to lift all the way up and back to the sky. And then you're going to bend your knee and open up your hip. And I encourage you to feel the space here in the front of your right thigh. Three. Good. Push back. Two. And then you're going to straighten your leg. Exhale. Release your feet together. Come forward. Plank pose. Exhale. We're going to lower all the way down to the belly with or without our knees. So slowly lower down. Good. Now take your fingertips this time off your mat. Notice how my fingertips are still in line with my nipple line, but my elbows are up. And then start to push up. Feel the effort of your fingers here, and you may not be able to go fully straight. You may be right here, and that's also totally okay, all right? Take another breath in. Good. Exhale to go flat. Now bring your hands back to your normal positioning. Inhale. Come up. Feel the difference. Good. Press all the way back to child's pose, hips to heels. Settle the back, settle the hips, and breathe. 
We'll take our time, move forward to tabletop. Let's rotate our hands again like we did in the beginning. Start with your left hand, full rotation, and then add the right if you can. And then again, we'll inhale cow, and we'll exhale cat, and we'll just move through a few rounds, rolling through the spine, breathing in and out. with control. Good job. Nice. Turn your fingertips forward on your inhale. Exhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, hips in the air. Now I want you to gaze forward to your hands. Exhale, bend your knees. Take a big step up and then bring your other foot to meet it. Good, flat back, lengthen, long gaze forward. Exhale, drape your chest over your thighs to fold. Inhale, stand tall, reach up. Let's take a nice back bend together. Beautiful, exhale, forward fold. Hands are gonna greet our toes, breath is gonna come out. Inhale, lengthen halfway, heart goes forward. Now we start with the other side. Right foot steps back, one, two, three. Good, and left knee is bent forward. Nice, hold here and breathe. And then we put our right knee down. Inhale, both arms to the sky. And then here's your prayer twist. So pull your hands to your heart. I'm gonna turn my back to you. Exhale, twist left. And rotate. Good, feel your body's effort here in your twist. Slowly breathing in and breathing out with control. Three. Two. One more, gaze back if you can. And then we'll inhale, transition, arms to the sky, breath in. Exhale, second half split, hands come down and again, Pop your right knee back and straighten your left leg. Good, point and flex your toes. Beautiful, pull your toes back so they're reaching up to the sky. Stay here, fold further or walk your hands to the left just like we did before. Good, three. Nice work, guys. Two. And then on your next breath, you're going to very slowly bring it back to neutral. Dun, 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 dun. Good. Rebend your knee for me. Pick up your back knee, and then our transition is three legged down dog, okay? So one, two, three, left leg up and back. Hold your leg high to the sky, and then we're going to slowly bend our knee. Open up our hip for three. Good, creating space here, two. And then re-extend through your leg, make it go long. Exhale, toes touch. Come all the way forward to plank for me. Good, exhale, chaturanga, lower the knees if you need to. Come up through your back bend. And then we'll take another child's pose here. Exhale, hips to heels. Take a moment. Take a nice big exhale. Good. We're going to focus in on some side body stretching. So I want you to come to a seated straddle here. All right. So a little challenging in terms of movement. So what you're going to do is you're going to extend your right leg all the way out long. And then your left foot is not meeting your inner thigh, okay? So that's why I've turned to the side, where that left foot is open so that you have a nice gap. Now we're gonna take our right hand down our right leg, and some of you are gonna glide your hand to your shin, some of you are gonna grab your foot. And then our left hand is gonna come to our left hip, and I want you to slowly start to rotate. Good, now option one, you're gonna start to kinda lean into the leg, and you're gonna feel a lot of stretch here on the left, okay? If you want to, your left arm can come up. 
if you want, your left hand can actually come behind your head and you can almost lean your head back into your hand. You can also keep reaching over your head. Three. Good. Two. And then you'll slowly sit all the way up. And we're going to repeat the stretch. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach and lean. Nice side body stretching for three. Good. Might feel a little intense for two. Try to keep your butt flat on the earth. And then come all the way up. We're going to take a gentle twist towards the bent knee. Just rotate. Good, and then let's switch sides, okay? Left leg extends, right knee bends in. All right, now left hand slides down the leg. And this might be the side that's tighter or more challenging or less challenging. And then you're gonna kind of rotate open as much as you can. And you might feel that pull. <laughs> and then you can stay here, you can come behind your head. For me, this is my like really tight side. So honestly, just kind of like Holding on to it for me feels better. If I stretch, it definitely becomes a lot more challenging. Good. Take another full breath in. And then you're going to sit all the way up. We're going to repeat. So take an inhale. Exhale. Come back down the leg. And reach up. Three. Good. Two. Seated twist gently to the right knee, turn. And then last part of this is a wide legged straddle. So you're gonna kind of create space, widen out your feet. Heels down, toes up. Oh, my hip gave a little uh, cramp there. Now we're back. Now we're back in action. <laughs> and then exhale, fold forward. Good, now your forward fold may not be this deep and that's okay, just fold as, as much as you can. Good, three. Full breath in, full breath out, two. And then when you're ready, you're gonna very slowly bring your torso all the way up. Exhale, we're gonna transition back to the front of our yoga mat. And then I want you to take your right knee and we're gonna draw some circles. So three, two, good. Now you're gonna draw circles the other way. Three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna do the other knee. So switch, three, two, good. Now you're gonna draw in, three, two, one more, one. Good, tuck those toes, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, inhale your right leg all the way up. Exhale, step through, warrior two for the first time, anchor your back heel, come all the way up and then settle in. So now that we've done those seated side stretches, maybe side angle is going to feel a little different. So reach forward, bring your forearm to your thigh or lower your hand further. Keep your left arm in the air if you want to or bring it over the head. Three. Good. Stay in it. Two. And then take your time. We're going to straighten our right leg. We're going to come all the way up. Good, exhale, bend your right knee, cartwheel your palms to the mat, please. And then we're gonna step up, keep the left leg lifted. We're gonna keep lifting the left leg, keep lifting. And guess what? This puts you right in standing split. So left leg stays lifted as high as it can. Maybe right hand finds the calf muscle for three. Lift higher, good, two. And then exhale, you're gonna step back on your mat. So all the way to the back, find your lunge, okay? Good, now keep your left hand down, raise your right arm, come back to your twist. Reach up high, push your heel back more. Good, right hand lowers. Big step down dog, one, two, three. 
and exhale, walk your hands back and find your feet. Good, drape your chest over your thighs. Let your head hang here. Keep your feet separated, all right? Come into chair pose, so squat position, and then extend your arms forward, three. If your shoulders are tight here, pull your hands to your heart, two. Exhale, fold forward with me, nice work. Inhale to a flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, plank pose. Your choice, flow, skip it, whatever you want to do, all right? And then we'll meet in a beautiful down dog with our hips into the air. We'll take that on the left, and then that will bring us to seated, all right? So raise your left leg all the way up to the sky. Exhale, gently step through. We find warrior two on this side. So again, same thing. Notice my hips are open, torso's facing you. Now turn the gaze over your front arm. We're gonna reach the left arm forward, option one. The forearm's gonna rest on the thigh, option two, deepen. Keep your top arm in the air if you wish, or maybe it starts to reach over the head. And it can reach whether you're deeper in the pose or your forearm to thigh. Good, three. Pull your low belly in, two. And then inhale, big transition, start to look forward. Look up, straighten your leg. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Spin to your back foot, ready, set, step up. Lift, lift even higher, good. Strong standing split. Keep your right leg lifting high. Welcome your hamstring stretch here, three. We're gonna end up in a lunge in two. Beautiful, step all the way back on your mat. Hold your lunge, please. Good, right hand roots. Left arm extends, we repeat our twist, rotate open. Notice if this twist, you have more room the second time, re rotate a little bit more. Good, left hand's gonna lower to the earth, please. Three, two, one, down dog, big step, boom. Good, bring your hands back. Exhale, we're gonna take a forward fold here, right hand under right foot, left hand under left foot. So your feet are apart, make sure they're not together. Exhale, fold forward, it's called Padahastasana, hand under foot pose. Three, good, let yourself hang heavy here, two. And then you're going to release your hands slowly on one. One hand and then the other. Good job. Exhale, forward fold. On your next breath in, we're going to bone by bone stand up just to get a nice standing back bend in here. So straighten your legs. Reach your arms all the way up. Find freedom. Good. Back down through your forward fold with me. Exhale. Nice work. Inhale to your flat back, gaze forward. And then here's your chance. This is our last push up. So if you wish, join me. We're gonna take our chaturanga. We're gonna take our back bend. And then we'll take a nice child's pose. Ah, beautiful job. Slowly breathe in and breathe out. From your child's pose, you're gonna make your way to seated on your bottom. So we're gonna have a seat and extend our legs forward. Hello, Minnie. You're gonna raise both arms up to the sky. And then you're gonna fold forward Exhale, draping your chest over your legs. Good, just enjoy kind of this nice forward bend for three. Hey, hey, none of that. Two. And then you're gonna slowly come up inch by inch, bone by bone. 
Good. Exhale, pull your right knee into your chest. Take a seated twist to the right. Rotate. Good. Turn your body. Pivot, pivot. And then we'll switch. Left knee comes in. Wrap the right arm. Good. Make your pivot. Rotate. Come back to center. This time the feet are going to come together so we can take bound angle, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, I invite you to walk your hands forward. And then just feel your chest fall over your feet. Good, release sensation in your lower back. Deep inhales, deep exhales. And then if you want to, it feels kind of nice to look left and right because it kind of loosens up your neck. Good. Bring your torso up, up, up. Bring your knees together as we scooch our bums forward. First time lying on our backs today. Pull your knees into your chest. <laughs> Had to think about that for a second just in case I messed that up, <laughs> but it is the first time. Good. Plant your feet. Press down into your feet. Raise your hips for me. Squeeze your glutes. Firm your thighs. Lift up a little bit higher. And then bone by bone by bone by bone, we find the earth. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. Inhale. Squeeze the glutes. Come up, 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 up. If you want, you can bring your shoulder blades under. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a lift and a prop. Noticing the back bend a little bit further for three. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline. Keep pushing up for two. And then melt down extra slow all the way to the mat on one. Good. We're going to take our right ankle, cross it over your left thigh. And then pull your left knee in. We didn't do any seated hip stretches or prone. So here's your chance for your nice supine pigeon pose. And if you want a deeper stretch, lean to the left. And that's going to give you a bigger pull through the right glute and hip. If you don't need a deeper stretch and you feel good in the center, stay there. But that's up to you. We'll be here for three. Good. Apply pressure of your knee to your ankle. Keep stretching out the booty for two. Exhale. You'll slowly return to neutral and then we'll switch. So plant your feet to start. We'll cross left ankle first. Good. Then we'll pull right knee to chest. And then again, maybe you give a little rocky. Maybe you stay neutral or if you start to lean to the right with me. This is where you're going to feel more pressure and pull from the left glute, which should feel good for three. Good. Pull it in for two. Come back to neutral. Exhale, right foot flat, then left. And then let your knees fall from side to side. So really try to feel a release here within your hip flexors. Noticing the release of tension as your knees fall from side to side. Bring your knees in nice and slow. Give yourself a giant hug. Pull your low back down for me. Good. Exhale from there. Extend your left leg out. Keep your right knee into your chest. Extend your right leg to the sky. Hold above or below the knee and then slowly pull the leg towards you. Good. Try to feel the length in your hamstring. Moving into half happy baby, we're going to try to bend our right knee. Your right hand's going to grab the outside of your right foot. Try to pull the knee down to the armpit. If that's too difficult, you're more than welcome to grab lower on the leg as well. Good. On your next exhale, hug your knee. 
and switch. Left knee comes in, right leg goes long. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, leg to the sky. Again, working on the lift through the bottom of the foot, which is going to help extend through the hamstring. Take a full inhale, lift your leg up just a little bit more. Exhale, grabbing for the pinky toe edge of your foot. Pull your knee into your armpit. Start to feel a deeper stretch there. Three. Good. Elongate through the leg that's on the earth. Pull your opposing knee down. Two. And then exhale, you're going to pull your left knee in. Your right knee is also going to join. And I invite you to just give me a few rocks on your back, okay? Just a side to side, a massage of the back. And then we'll lay our bodies all the way down into a yummy, gentle shavasana to close practice, short and sweet. Legs long, exhale, palms up, head down. And just breathe in and out with control. Full breath in, full breath out. Slow down your energy here. Good. Notice if you feel any different from when we started our practice to now. And hopefully you feel less stressed within your body, within your mind, and you feel a sense of calm come through the body. Let's take a big inhale together. And then a giant exhale. And on your next breath in, we're going to reach both arms really far up and over the head. Full stretch. Good. Really create space. Exhale. Hug both knees into your chest, one and then the other. Good. Bring yourself slowly to seated. Sit up tall so your shoulders are nice and relaxed. And bring your hands together at your heart. Close your eyes. Big exhale. Let it all go. Thank you for choosing to move together to allow your bodies to hopefully be in a good place to feel good, to feel relaxed, to feel open. Let's bow forward together. Namaste. Thank you for practicing. And enjoy the rest of whatever's ahead in your day. Good job, guys.